This is a tank. But as the video title suggests, we are actually looking at an airsoft military simulation called a milsim. Now, putting a vehicle into an airsoft game may easily tip the fragile game balancing. And since no one wants to sit around being dominated by others after paying 100 bucks for a milsim, all vehicles need to be well balanced and used with caution. So how are vehicles actually used during airsoft events, like the German Dark Emergency? There are two basic uses for a vehicle during a game. First up, it can be used to move around people, gear and other items. Especially with games played with large areas covering more ground is a strategic advantage that allows for a more efficient use of players in the game. The second and perhaps more interesting use of a vehicle is in a tank mode, meaning people in the vehicle actively shoot at enemy players. Given the protection a car provides, people in them are not easy to take out. In other words, vehicles are very overpowered. And if players don't know how to play and destroy vehicles, it may break the game for the losing team. But on the other hand, shooting from vehicles is just very cool and everybody wants to do it. Especially with vehicles that have purpose-built turrets with big guns. Given that the turret guns are usually fixed to the vehicle itself, the best solution is often to use an HPA engine, as it provides enough power and consistency and allows for continuous fire without reloading them too often. For this purpose, you can see standard light or heavy machine gun replicas with added HPA engines. Popular guns include the M249 or the Browning 50 cal, but in a cheaper build, a regular M4AG might do the trick as well. It's an airsoft anyway, and it only depends on your budget. Now, which vehicles are actually used in these games? Well, proper Humvees can go in tens of thousands of dollars, meaning it's quite an expensive thing for many hobby milsimers. In all fairness, the fact that military vehicles may get expensive doesn't mean you won't get to see them in the game. Dark Emergency is a great example, with armored vehicles and decommissioned military trucks being involved in the game. However, you can also see low-cost variants. Mostly rebuilt old civilian or off-road vehicles, cars and even vans, with planks and plexiglass as extra armor. They go up in complexity depending on the owner's budget, of course. Interestingly enough though, some of the vehicles aren't even road legal, meaning the owners have to tuck them to the game on an actual car. This is a great proof of the length airsofters are willing to go when it comes to milsim and vehicles. Now, if you remember earlier, we mentioned that the vehicles can be a little bit overpowered and potentially break the game for half of the players. Nobody wants that, so there has to be a system in place that regular players can take out vehicles in a reasonable way. How do you destroy a vehicle in the game? Well, that depends on each game and its organizers. In most cases, destroying mechanic is mostly handled by a grenade launcher or RPG replicas. Organizers may issue a specific color paintballs that players have to shoot the vehicle's window with. Otherwise, the hit doesn't count. This is to actually control the amount of ammo used to take down vehicles in the game. Paintballs may sometimes be replaced with chalk rounds, such as the tagging shells. In Brazil, you had to run up to the vehicle and throw a small grenade inside to take it out, which worked, but as you can imagine, it's not the most effective way. One of the most interesting vehicle destruction systems we've seen, however, was in Germany during Dark Emergency Milsim. The system included a simple electric circuit comprising of a small grenade, a bunch of wires and a CD. Yes, the old compact disc some of you kids don't even know anymore. And it worked wonderfully. When the players break the CD in half with their shots, the circuit is no longer completed, triggering the mounted smoke grenade. That creates a very clear visual effect of a smoking car, improving the game immersion, even if being a bit more demanding than other systems. So there you have it. Vehicles in Airsoft Milsim games. They bring excitement, increased mobility and strategic advantages, but also vulnerability and careful balancing is needed. With some interesting builds, having them around in a game just adds to the feel of an event. If you like this one, hit the like button and let us know in the comment section. See you in the next one.